Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. We have a vlog today, kind of spring vlog. I need to get a bit of housework done and stuff, um, but took the dog for a walk this morning and then um, I decided to pop out, I think what I want to do is pop out to Neptune. I've not been in a while and I feel like they always do really nice like spring decor and everything. I'm thinking my next video might be like a full spring clean, decorate, organize, that type of video. Because I feel like, although we've not got the ground floor ready for spring decoration, we've got elements and areas that I could pop out a few little decorations. I will kind of bring you up to speed with things of what we have done in the renovations journey since the last vlog that I shared with you any updates. Just thought I'd pick up the camera really. I am going to the Peak District this weekend, which will be fun. Tom is actually away on a business in India. Um, dropped him off at the airport yesterday. He's there for a couple of weeks. So it's nice to have something planned, booked in, and um, something to look forward to. I thought I would pick up the camera. I'm just gonna finish getting ready. Just curl the ends of my hair, washed it day before yesterday and I just didn't style it at all yesterday so I thought just pop a couple of curls in um, and I've showed you this before but I just use my GHD curves these I believe are the thicker barrel I'll leave them linked below just so that you know that if if you're after some more colors then you know exactly which ones I use but I just lightly curl well I mean it depends what look I'm going for but just for like an everyday Rather than put loads and loads of heat, I just take quite big, chunky sections and just not hold the heat on for too long. Um, just to give it a bit of shine, shape, something other than just a frizzy mess. I am booked in to go to the hairdressers in a couple of weeks at a time. I think two weeks, two and a half weeks, uh, which I feel like my roots have gone through quite dark this time. I don't know if my hairdresser did less baby lights last time. Because that's what I tend to ask for. So that the regrowth isn't too obvious. Or maybe I'm just getting much darker as I get older. Who knows? Because I used to be white blonde as a child. Like little ringlets. White. Well not ringlet. Not tight ringlets. But kind of curly wavy hair. And really really fair. Tom was really fair as well. So if we have babies one day. Which who knows. I always get asked, oh, when are you having kids? I'm just not that broody type. I'm maternal when it comes to my fur baby. But in terms of kids, we're both the same, me and Tom. We just, I don't know, we're both quite driven and work motivated rather than baby motivated. But who knows, maybe one day. Um, the stress and the pressure though, growing up, growing up. You know what I mean, I'm 31 now. As women, we've got body clocks and that just kind of puts the pressure on, doesn't it? That's the only thing. Oh, it's fun getting old. <laughs> I know a lot of people be rolling their eyes at me saying getting old because um, I'm not old. I'm not old. I've got plenty of time if I want to have kids or kid, let's just say. <laughs> I can't see myself having a big family. I guess you have to start young if you do want that, but um yeah anyway i'm gonna finish off getting ready before heading out in the beautiful sunshine this morning's walk was so lovely i've got a couple of tradesmen in this afternoon so i can't be out for too long because i need to be back for them i've got uh we've got someone coming to measure up for the front door which we've committed to so Finally, we're gonna have a front door a brand new front door soon, which i cannot wait for i've gone for black I am going to purchase the hardware myself, so, because I don't want like a yellowy gold in terms of the knocker and the, uh, what else? The knocker and I want like a decorative, you know, you can get those decorative doorknobs, pull knobs I think they're called, um, 
I'm gonna get some like really nice antique brass ones, maybe even numbers as well, rather than that kind of shiny yellow one. So I need to get on the hunt for that. I might even go maybe a bit of antique shopping soon. Who knows? But for now, today's agenda is Neptune. There is the Lambing Shed. I'm going to Neptune, Nutsford, any Manchester folk. And there's a place called the Lambing Shed, just down the road from it, which has, it's dog friendly, it's got a cute little cafe for maybe some lunch or some food bits. So I've got a farm shop as well, just to um, pick up some food for today. But yeah, I need to um, be back this afternoon. So we've got that guy and then we've also got someone for the flooring to come and have another look. We're still trying to sort out the flooring, which is holding us up. It's been holding us up for about a month. We could have had everything done by now, but things happen and it is what it is. Unfortunately, our flooring fitter, previous one, is in hospital, so. Um, and a lot of lead times, I've noticed with builders lately, uh, quite a long time. I reached out to another front door company and they said six months for supply and fit. Like six months, how can anyone be that busy? You need to get more staff. There was a point to this. I wanted to say that with Neptune, with us being quite close to finishing, I'm going for all the inspo. Having a quick look at any spring decor that they've got. Any cleaning bits maybe for my upcoming spring clean with me. And uh, I want to open every single cupboard, drawer and everything to have a look at how they've styled everything in Neptune because they are the ultimate inspo when it comes to having that perfect looking pantry, organization, everything in their glass jars. Oh, the dream. Just had this parcel arrive. I thought I would quickly open it up before we head off. I do want to get changed. I like all this on the dog walk. Picked up two things from Abercrombie. They had a sale on and I remembered trying on their jeans. I ordered some in the past and the leather trousers that I got over winter. And I ended up sending the jeans back. Kept the leather, the leather trousers, but I remember them being just a little bit too big. So I got 28, I got 29 last time. So I'm hoping these are gonna fit. 39 pounds for the jeans I paid. And then I got this gorgeous satiny, silky black dress. Great for an occasion. Very dressy, but also I'm thinking very comfy. Uh, so I'm gonna try Gosh, I've not got the time for this dress at the minute, but should I try this dress on for you? Maybe I will. And I will leave these linked below as well if you want them. £89 the dress was. I paid £62 in the sale. Okay, this is the dress. Gorgeous fit, fabric and everything. I am worried it's a little bit low on the back though. So yeah, we have an occasion coming up that I may be wearing this. Not for a while, a long while, but I just saw it and thought, yeah, beautiful. So yeah, that's what the dress looks like. Let's try on the jeans. These are the jeans from Abercrombie and my goodness, Abercrombie jeans are so comfy. However, I do still feel like I may be one size too big. So maybe if I went one size down, then, so 27 for me. You see these bags here in the corner of the room? There's a couple of bits from Matalan actually that I got, so I'll show you them before we go. I mean, this bag, okay, I've just been talking about babies. This is like a kid's bag, but lovely little friends. It kind of reminded me of like the little white company bags. They didn't have any carrier bags essentially, and I needed something to hold everything, so I had to buy a bag. I got a couple of things. Um, some boring things popped away, but I thought, I say boring as if these are so exciting, but 12 pack food clips, food bag clips, £2.50 in this gorgeous green. And now we have elements of green throughout our new kitchen, including the island. The island is going to be fully painted green. So I thought I would pick up those. I also got this, sticking with the green theme, this little water bottle for Barney. You fill up the water bottle and then you kind of like open it and squeeze out the water into this little drinking bowl. And then they have some gorgeous new crockery within the kitchenware of which I picked up just two things. I did refrain and restrict myself, but I had to pick up these two when I saw them. Firstly, this utensils pot. How gorgeous will that be sat out on the island with some like acacia wooded wooden spoons in? And then they also had loads of mugs with different um, words on. They had like relax, pause, this one that I got calm. I just decided to get the pause. 
because sometimes it's important for us to all just pause, reflect, be present in the moment. Just pause. So anyway, got myself a new mug with pause written on it and um, this one was four pounds. Actual outfit of the day before we go. I'm ready now. I've got these jeans on from Everlane. I haven't worn these in so long. Well, basically since last summer and it's just getting so excited for spring, summer. Um, and then I've just got a basic tee on from weekday. I love the color of this one. It's kind of like an olive khaki color. And then I've just thrown my leather jacket on. And simple jewelry, just pop on my watch. This uh, necklace is, I actually need a link taken out my watch. Can you see it's kind of falling down? This necklace is gorgeous, it's so cute. It's from Ana Luisa. Actually, thinking about it, I don't think it has a hint of that Louis Vuitton, one of the Louis Vuitton shapes. <laughs> Let's go with a nice spring scent. As spring is in the air, this one is Basil and Neroli from Jo Malone. It's one of my favourites for this time of the year. It's so nice, like herby and fresh and oh, just love it. I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs a lovely little shopping trip in uh, Neptune. I've got a couple of bits and just pulled into the lambing shed, the kind of like farm shop cafe across the road. And oh my goodness, just you wait guys, I'll show you. There are some baby lambs. It's the time of year. Oh, this is why I like spring. I just feel like it's a rebirth. It's new beginnings, fresh starts. <sighs> Although, who spotted on Instagram, I posted a photo, we went on a walk the other day and we saw some, what we thought were mother frogs with their babies attached to their back <laughs> and a few of you messaged me and pointed out, they're not babies, <laughs> it's mating season. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, um, I got um, a couple of bits from Neptune that I thought I would show you, they were so cute in there, they loved Barney, they took a picture which I think they might put on his Instagram, so, or put on their Instagram rather, and tag him, which is so cute. Uh, but yeah, I got myself one of their new directories. This is the Spring Summer 2023. Uh, you'll probably be able to order these online, actually, if you wanted one. How gorgeous. This is kind of, what's the Pantone color of the year this year? It's like magenta, so pinks are very much in. Not really a big pink person, but this one's more of like a, um, corally orange i would say this is obviously their new color i didn't catch the name of it actually but they quite often when they do their new colors in neptune they'll do the bags in the color as well and like a kitchen or something or an island but yeah we'll have a nice flick through that and then um from the actual shop i just picked up some tea lights these are their salted tea lights they do them in large and small these are the set of 12 small ones for four pounds these are being discontinued which makes me so sad. So £22 down to £11. It's uh, one of the laundry fabric conditioners. This is in the scent English Fig, which I do love the green and everything, but I have the matching set of Rosemary and Thyme. So I'm almost tempted, this smells amazing, but I'm almost tempted to decant it into my Rosemary and Thyme bottle, just so. Oh, I prefer this smell actually to the Rosemary and Thyme so nice um so yeah really sad that they're being discontinued i'm going to see if i can find any more like online 
on the outlet because I just love their fabric conditioners. I do have the laundry detergent and the ironing water already. They were reduced to £11 for those. Had they have had more, I would have got them, but it was actually one of the lovely ladies who helped me out in Neptune. She said when they discontinued them, I put a few to, to one side, but you can have one which made my day so i felt guilty taking it um but she's like honestly we've got loads we've got refill big bags and everything that we got on the outlet so i've got plenty so yeah thank you to her for doing that because that was lovely of her um anyway let's pop into the lambing shed now let's see the cute baby lambs and let's maybe grab a bite to eat before heading back i actually need to get back pronto because i've had a missed call from the builders and i'm worried that um, someone is due to arrive pretty soon. I'll come back up here in just a second to show you the bits that we have done to the house so far. But first and foremost, priorities, got myself some lunch. I thought I'd do a little farm shop haul. Why not? Love a farm shop trip. See my Neptune little goodies up there? Hence my, I feel like I might decant the English fig into it it just matches better. Was that a fun trip? Yeah, you were a good boy, weren't you? So this little lambing shed haul. First thing I saw and picked up were some crisps. Just got some snacks, basically. A haul full of snacks. Snacking, I feel like, is my favourite way to eat. Rather than big meals, I could just happily graze all day. Um, but anyway, I got these. Now, this one I've had before, and it is so good. The Iberian ham. Um, they didn't have any of the truffle flavour left. Also got this one to try. I've never tried this one. Just the plain extra virgin olive oil. I feel like they'll be so, so good. Honestly, if you've never tried those crisps, hands down the best crisps. Then I saw this. Never tried this brand before, but popcorn chicken. Just Am I okay? Popcorn chicken? Popcorn kitchen. It's just sweet flavoured popcorn. I was craving this the other day with avocado and tomatoes and went to the shop to get it and I couldn't find any rye bread anywhere. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to grab it. Now I've just seen it and this is just the Biona organic rye bread. Um, these are good until November. So um, yeah, I thought I would get that for when I'm next craving avocado and rye bread. Just toasted and make it quite crispy, so yum. Now, I love their stuff that they do, the Cartwright and Butler, uh, they do biscuits, uh, they do like crackers for cheese boards, crispy wafer bites with soft Gouda cheese filling, flavor filling. Mmm, they're smelly. Oh, do you want that? They're super creamy. Seems that it's lambing season. Ooh. Put myself up a chocolate lolly. Got myself a Wednesday jail and onion chutney pork pie, which I'm gonna have for my lunch now. I am gonna do a refresh of Barney's bed, like dog toy basket. You know, dog toys that just can get proper grubby. If you've got a dog, you'll know what I mean. So I might do that in my next video when I do a bit of a spring refresh because I've got a hamper coming from Pet Hamper, which you guys know I love as well. So I'll unbox that and include that within that video. But yeah, £5.95. I like these eco ones. They're just, they look nice. They're really sturdy. They're good for them to like chew on. So yeah, got that for Mr. Barney Boo himself. And that's everything. It's my little farm shop haul. It's half one. In fact, I'll just take my phone with me. So, house updates. Are we ready to be blown away with not a lot of updates? If I'm being completely honest, I think since the last video, uh, since last video I showed you this Downstairs loo has been plastered, although it's very dark in there because we've got no natural light in there. We've had the electricians come and do all the first 
second fix I suppose you should say. You can see that they've got the toggle switches on and ready to go. I love this. is going to be my favourite light switch in the entire house. It's one huge plate like in the antique brass from Corston. We've got all of our switches and sockets from Corston in case you are interested. Uh, but yeah, I believe these are going to be on. In fact, do I dare try it? Oh my gosh, we have lights. Can you see them over there? I had no idea we had lights. Okay, so that's that one. This one are these lights in here. That one is a downstairs toilet light. So you can actually see in here if it's gonna focus. And we've had the fan installed up there. That's obviously just a light bulb, just so that we've got light in here. These are gonna be wall lights. Oh, it's not gonna focus. Always finds it really hard to focus when there's nothing in the room. They're gonna be wall lights either side of a mirror and then a vanity unit's gonna go there. Oh my God, I can't believe we have lights. And I didn't even know. I've got all the spare plates and stuff. That's what they look like, the antique brass. And then these are the light bulbs that we've gone for. They're one of those, I feel like they all get fit the same now where they just last for like five years and then you replace the whole thing. But these ones, they are minima round adjustable in matte white. And if I show you what they look like, they're really good because they're essentially they're like recessed. So they're set back a little bit, which means you don't get that glare in your eye. It's almost just like a haze. They're far less or far more subtle than chrome ones. Wow, do you see what I'm saying about my color needs redoing? Hmm. Let's just cover up that dark patch there. I have, fun fact about me, I have a natural really dark patch here, which is why I kind of wear my parting on that side a little bit. But, I mean, my roots need doing anyway, but this section here in particular is really dark. It always has been, even as a child before, look, can you see how dark that is? Even as a child before I used to get highlights or anything, I'd always naturally have a dark patch there. Look how dark that is versus more, slightly more ashy. I mean, it doesn't look any different. Okay, I'm just trying rubbish now. Um, so yeah, that is what the, what the update is essentially in here. And then if I go through here, I think last time I showed you, it wasn't even plastered in this room. So let me spin you around. This is where we're having the new front door put and that one is gonna be removed. So we're gonna have an external arched porch there. So that's what they're coming to measure up for today to get started on the production for it. And then in here, we've had the underfloor start Starting to be laid the plumbers back tomorrow to finish the pipe work and the rest of here as you can tell these just sort of got started with it fireplace still all covered up and protected um, which I showed you in a previous video and then yeah all of in here has been plastered as well which again I don't think uh, was plastered last time I showed you the last update I showed you we're still waiting on the back door to arrive as soon as that's here that will get fit along with that side window and the glass panel in that window. So yeah, that is the current update. This is what the switches all look like when they're still hung off the wall. Let me see if I can show you a socket. So that's what the socket looks like. And then the plate, the brass plate just kind of sits on top. So then they don't fit the brass plates until the painting's done. You need to get a TV for in here as well as in the other room and a sound bar in the other room and Sonos speakers, which we're gonna have in the other room as well. And then we also need wall lights in here. So. That's what I need to get on the hunt for. Wall lights in here, that wall light, ceiling pendant in here, which will just match, I'm assuming. We'll just get the same for in here as well. And this is the only room that we have ceiling lights and pendants. However, let me show you actually, I do have a couple of lights that we ordered. So essentially we were in this room, in this kitchen, living space, just gonna have spots, but I decided to add two wall lights here above what will be worktop into a splashback then into a sh into a shelf that kind of comes out so above that i'm going to have two wall lights of which i think they are here they're from nordic nest see if i can get one of these lights out my ears just started ringing oh you can kind of see what it looks like there off the image yeah that's what they look like just very simple I think they have the option, these lights, if you wanted them to hang down like as a bedside light, so you can switch them off here.
guest book, which is cute. There's a little doggy treat section with dog towel. Deodorizing dog spray. This is gonna Oh. We've got three champagne flutes. Wow, it's just a night, isn't it? Oh, it is. Oh. I've been trying to make it. Say hello. Hello, Mr. Goat. Ready. Let's go. Race <laughs> Oh, that scares me. No. Uh, should we stick with hers? You stick with us, Barney. Okay, go on then. We'll see you on the flip side. Oh, my God. If you did win in part. We made it. We beat the other two. Ooh, warm now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so excited? It's a video. <laughs> Okay, I'm videoing at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I'm gonna look like demented. I can't do it. It's just me, like. Proud of it's me. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. He's just having his happy rolls. I could honestly have a nap. I know. How nice is that? the top of the tower lovely that you can actually see that gray cloud oh <laughs> we did spot a rainbow somewhere
You left one. <laughs> In the hot tub. <laughs> oh, look at the glass. <laughs> I've just realised we're a glass short. Never mind. Just unloaded the car. <sighs> Exhausted. I had such a lovely, lovely weekend. Lovely little girls trip. And I've come back as well to the front room. We now have, obviously that window was always there, but in there, a dorm window. And also that glass has now been replaced as well. Sorry, I look so tired. I am pretty tired to be fair. We were basically in an Airbnb with two double beds. And Barney trying to get in the bed and everything. It's just, I never really sleep that well, so I feel like I'm just low on sleep, but honestly, I had such a lovely time. I somewhat feel a reset and a refresh, and there was no signal at the Airbnb either, so it was kind of a digital detox too, but I'm tired. I could just curl up and go to sleep, but I've got a lot of stuff to do today. I've got some filming to do. I need to um, like unpack and everything, um, but yeah, I thought I would show you this door. So we've had this door put in. I'm not gonna lie. Tom organized this and sorted this. I thought that door was gonna be black. White on the inside, fine, but I thought the outside of it would be black as well, but it's not, so, I mean, to be honest with you, it's not the worst case. If we wanted to paint it in the future, we could. Let me show you it from the outside. Still got the wood grain that all the windows that we've got on the entire house have got as well, so the texture of it's still the same, it's just, it's white. I thought it was gonna be black. I mean, we're not really gonna use this back door much anyway. The rest of this room can be boarded up. The rest of the underfloor heating has been laid and we have floor people booked in. This, well, it's Sunday today, so on Thursday, so the day after you're watching this video, we have a um, flooring company to come and start laying the screed, which is gonna be a bit of, it's one of those things whereby we can't walk on the screen, and obviously that corridor bit especially, these rooms we can live without obviously, but these corridor space, so like going from the basement to upstairs, or like from the front door to upstairs, I'm not gonna be able to walk on here. So I think I'm just gonna have to make sure I time it whereby I even take like a little bag or something of anything that I might need from upstairs down into the basement and just use the back door into the basement for a bit and not really have any need to go upstairs it's only for about six hours so um, i thought i was gonna have to sleep somewhere different but um i'm not gonna have to do that it is literally six hours unless they lay it at night i'll just have to tell them that you've got to do it in the morning so that i can go to bed we've had more light fittings and fixtures fit so for instance in this room um obviously we need to buy a light fitting fixture thing but we have light <laughs> The other one is for the wall lights, which aren't done yet. Also, all the corridor lights have been done as well. Oh, we've got a couple of PR packages. Should we see what's inside? We'll just come home to these. Oh, I have still got baking on tart though to eat. I actually bought two. So I think that's gonna be my afternoon pick me up. Bit of a sugar hit. Um, Charles Worthington, very kindly sent something over. These are some hair essentials for the ultimate hair rebound. So I've got the Grow Strong Activating Shampoo. I've been using a new shampoo and conditioner actually from Christoph Robin and it's really good. This is the conditioner and then also a scalp tonic stimulates hair growth for lasting results in just four weeks. Ooh, L'Oreal. Pair up, power up pure vitamin C and SPF. I'm a fan of this. Now, vitamin C I've tried in the past and it actually broke me out. So I don't know if I'm maybe give it a retry. It's one of those things maybe you have to kind of break out, have that bit of a ugh to then start feeling the benefits and it start to improve. I don't know. But the SPF, I am being really good with myself wearing SPF 50 every day. In fact, that's the only thing I've got on my skin today is SPF 50. And it's the La Roche Posay one, which is really nice. I really enjoy it. This is the texture of the vitamin C serum. And instead of a moisturizer, but maybe it works with a moisturizer. This is the SPF 50. It's got the same little pipette as the La Roche-Posay. I do like it, so it's gonna take a lot 
Oh my goodness, it's exactly the same. <laughs> it's even very similar packaging. I wonder if that's on purpose. L'Oreal. Yeah, it blends in nicely. It feels slightly different to the La Roche Posay one, but like it feels a bit like you need less of it. Yeah, thanks L'Oreal. I will give those a go. I'm gonna use up the rest of my La Roche Posay one and then that will be my next one. I'm just gonna unpack really. I need to take some bits upstairs, put a wash load on, get comfy, get cozy. I'll show you some bits I picked up. I've got a little bit, a little bit of a haul from Chatsworth House. I filmed, filmed, I tidied this filming room before I left. I'm so glad I did. It's so nice coming home to an already clean space. It's honestly a luxury because I do tend to make a bit of a mess. It's more so from filming though. If I've got a load of content or stuff that I'm trying to get done and then also I'm rushing to pack up, I can make a bit of a mess, but I haven't. And it's nice to be home to a clean and tidy environment. I'm thinking about tomorrow we we'll be taking this afternoon a bit easy. And then tomorrow getting up and having a good spring clean, like thorough spring, spring, spring clean. Um, and also a bit of a decorate, reorganize. I've got some spring decor that I wanna pop, pop out. So yeah, I think I'll vlog all day tomorrow doing that for Sunday's video. Bit of an introduction to April, kind of spring reset. Do love a seasonal change and a new start, fresh beginnings. So I went to a company called Bark & Co in Bakewell. And I went there last time we went actually because they do Barkwell tarts. They actually did a post on uh, Facebook of Barney eating it. It's honestly, you go to Bakewell, it's so dog friendly. They even have Barkwell tarts there. So yeah, if ever you do go to Bakewell, make sure to visit Barks and Co. I also picked up um, a barber lead because I've been after one. I can't seem to find one anywhere. Um, oh God, there's a pigeon right outside my window. It's gone. Uh, can't seem to find the matching lead anywhere to the collar that he's got. So I found one. Found one. So I picked it up. And then from Chatsworth, if you go to Chatsworth House, make sure to go to the Chatsworth House first if you're wanting to go to the farm shop as well. Because when you like book tickets, if you want to go around the gardens or the house, whatever, you get a 10% off voucher to use in the farm shop. So that's what we did. We popped over to the farm shop, got ourselves some pies for, well, we actually got veg potatoes and stuff. We'd bought pies at a market in Bakewell for our evening dinner that night. So we just stayed in, had a hot tub, hot tub? Hot tub, bubbles, fizz, and pies. Whilst we were in there, I also picked myself up um, this, which I just thought looked really yum. This Apple Tree Hill Bramley apple juice. They had loads of different apple varieties. These have really good, like, long lives on them as well. This is good until November 2024. Um, but I couldn't resist that. I just thought it looked so yum. And then I also got this. Oh my God, I just realized I dreamt about eating this last night. How funny. Um, I got these. I've never seen these before. So Tom and I, we love a good cheese board. I love a good like fig chutney with our cheese board. I thought this would be a nice addition. Pickled nuts for cheese. Somerset pickled walnuts inside of vinegar. I love walnuts. I've never had pickled walnuts before. So yeah, that with a cheese board, good with blue cheese, dark and tangy. Of course, my Bakewell tarts. And then oh, I got these for Barney um, at the markets when we first went to Bakewell. Just a donut. I think it's a, that, oh, oh, oh that's a tuna donut. Um, and then this is like a little cheese and bacon muffin. I mean, these are good for human consumption. These are all like made with ingredients. He was like, yeah, yeah, he's, he's tried them. He's like, I'll throw that in for you to try. And I said, oh, I don't know if I've tried, but Barney definitely will. It's something about that, isn't it? Even though it's all human ingredients, but because it's on a dog food stand, you just assume, oh no, I can't eat that. And then when we actually went to Chatsworth House, I also picked up a couple of bits from the kind of souvenir shop, which can I just say, is the ultimate shop of all souvenir shops because it's just beautiful. They've got like Soho House, like books in there, recipe books. They've got 
loads of different brands of like really nice homeware stuff. They've got Barber in there, like, do you know what I mean? They've got loads of brands. So anyway, I did pick up a couple of things. Firstly, this, which is their very own Chatsworth House uh, selection of English herbs. This is the Head Gardener's Choice English Herbs. So in here we've got chevrolet, dill, parsley, rosemary, sage, and thyme. Obviously, we're looking to have some planters built. Um, I say obviously, but you might not know, but we're renovating our house and the garden will be Project Summer, Summer Project. And we want to get some like herb planters in the corner. So I decided to get this little seed box. And then, oh, I couldn't resist guys. There was a mug. There was a mug that was screaming my name. I love a good mug, brand new one. And this is like a real nice luxury mug. I will say that. So it's got Chatsworth House on it. And they've even got all the gold detailing which they actually have on Chatsworth House. Like when you look, Look at it, step back from when we were like stood by the water fountain. You can see all the gold, all the like sash windows are all painted gold and it's just beautiful. So this is my new Chatsworth House mug designed by Lucy Sharon, Fine Bone China. Very excited to have a new cuppa in that. It was 18 pounds, kind of pricey for a mug, but I love it. It's not like we go to chats with every week, so it was nice to treat ourselves up to that. Oh, in fact, another couple of PR parcels I came here into, I forgot why, I already brought them upstairs and opened them as soon as I got back. I suppose I might as well show you them. Pixie, love Pixie. In shower steam facial. Oh, I might use this this afternoon. It's got acacia collagen peptides. It's a self-heating cleansing mask and comes with a cloth how nice does that sound and then the sock shop which is kind of random but would have been ideal had i got this before we left we've got some socks that they've very kindly sent over for me great boot socks here as well so they sent over this set of two from jeep gray and kind of like cream and then a cream pair and then this pair of socks from pringle and then last but not least cashmere socks that they do so nice Again, a fresh new pair of cashmere socks with some fresh new pyjamas. What a luxury. So yeah, thank you so much to um, them as well. But anyway, I feel like I'm gonna end off this vlog here. I'm not really sure what else to include within this video, considering I'm just gonna have a chilled afternoon and then tomorrow I'm doing a full vlog for my next vlog anyway. I feel like this is a good time to pause, end this video, get unpacked, get sorted, get on top of things to finish off this weekend and what has been such a lovely weekend honestly i just feel so positive after having a bit of a digital detox a bit of a pause reset a bit of girl time a bit of exploring in the nature having barney with me as well it was it was nice and it was well timed with tom being away next weekend is the last weekend or the only other weekend that i've got without tom so i might um I might even like ask Lydia if she's doing anything next week. In fact, I do have a couple of event events on. So who knows, maybe I'll vlog them and then I'll get my head on the week after that. And then Tom's back home. And then my parents are coming to stay. So yeah, we've got lots planned in. I feel like that is definitely a positive for me as I've touched on like with my whole like anxiety journey and my therapy that I've been having and everything like that for me. I think it's good to have things booked in. To look forward to, obviously, if you suffer with anxiety and especially social anxiety where it's just like oh it's things to get nervous for rather than things to get excited for i'm kind of shifting my mindset now and getting excited for things that are booked in so it's important for me to get things booked in so that i keep myself busy i keep myself getting out and about keep myself socializing rather than just being the hermit that i am <laughs> in my comfort zone of these four walls um, it's good for me to get out because I feel so much better for it afterwards. So yeah, thanks for spending the weekend and a couple of days with me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Thumbs up if you have, subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all in Sunday where I'll have a nice spring reset vlog for you guys. So thanks so much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day and I will hope to see you all then. Bye guys.